Hey guys, Bartels Bookshelf here with the I'm So Annoyed tag. Uh, I was tagged by Genre Books. Um, thank you very much. Uh, he's a great channel. You should go watch him. I'll link him in the description. Um, but apparently this tag was created by Melinda at AB of Stories and weaponized by Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading. I'm not sure what that means, but that's what um, Genre Books said in his video. So... Yeah, it's just a, a bunch of questions about uh, being annoyed at books, which uh, should be interesting. So the first question is, do publishers ever do things that you find annoying? Share an example. Uh, genre books uh, cover this pretty well in his video. Uh, things like huge advances for uh, celebrity authors um, and politicians and things like that. Um, just uh, a lot of the things that annoy me about publishers just generally kind of revolves around the more um, profit making aspect of the industry. I mean, I get it. You know, we're all you, you got to make money to keep things going. Going, but some of it just feels pretty um, soulless to me. One of the things that he pointed out in his video that I very much agree with is um, I can't stand pointless special editions of books. Um, Barnes & Noble does this a lot, where um, they'll sell a book as a special edition and it's like one color on the cover will be different. As, uh, as, again, as Genre Books pointed out in his video, it's just kind of designed to prey on, you know, collector types who just need to have every single variant edition of a book. It reminds me of, you know, back in the 90s, every comic book had 10 million variant covers and, you know, uh, ho hollow bags and, and all that kind of stuff. What really annoys me about some special editions, and again, Genre Books pointed this out in his video, um... What's really frustrating to me sometimes is when they put out a special edition of a book and the book contains missing content that was taken out of the original version, like uh, extra chapters or epilogues or whatever. Um, I can live with that to some extent, although there are times where it really irritates me. Like, uh, for example, I read uh, Ice Planet Barbarians a while ago, and um, I mean, the book wasn't great. But what really annoyed me was that the special edition that I read had a novella and I think an extra epilogue chapter that felt more like a proper ending than the ending of the actual book. I mean, the way that the actual book ends, it just sort of stops. <laughs> it, it, there's a lot of just unresolved things that it just kind of leaves behind, behind by the wayside, and I get that it's part of a series, but being that the stuff that was addressed in the post-book novella and the little extra chapter and stuff were things that I was wondering about that were resolved made me think, like, well, how could the original book ever have felt emotionally satisfying? A specific example that I can think of that really irks me, and again, I haven't read this book, but it was an adaptation of the film uh, Red Riding Hood, which, um, when the book originally came out, it was missing the final chapter, and you had to go to a special website provided by the publisher in the book to read the final chapter to get the fucking ending to the story. I mean, that is just... That is, like, insane. Like, that is, I'm really glad that publishers don't do stuff like that, and I hope they don't plan to do it more often. So, yeah. Uh, the second question is, have you ever been annoyed by a spoiler, even something as simple as someone else telling you that there's a great twist? Um, generally, no. I, I, don't get pr I don't get really, like, up in arms about spoilers. Um, it, if the book... It, it kind of depends on the book, really. Um, some books, you know, like mysteries and things like that, are kind of built around the plot and the and the and the twists and turns, and uh, spoiling that feels a little bit cheap and irritating. Um, I have had times where friends have accidentally spoiled things for me, and I was personally annoyed, but that's not their fault. But I do think generally you can still enjoy something even knowing the end, even even being spoiled. I mean, people wouldn't reread books or rewatch movies if that was the case. So generally, no. Um, and something as simple as, you know, someone telling you there's a twist, I mean, that doesn't really bother me. Um, because generally, even if I know there's a twist, I just kind of go with the flow, and then when the twist comes, then I decide, like, if I like the twist or not, you know. Um, but yeah, generally it depends on the book. Uh, the third question is, have you ever been annoyed by what you discovered in a little free library, a book sale, or a used bookstore? Tell us what you found and why it was so annoying. So it took me a long time to think of an answer for this, because, again, generally, I'm not annoyed by uh, things in used books. I can't even really think of something that would be annoying, um, unless somebody, like, tore out pages or something. But kind of related to that... Um, once I was in a used bookstore looking in the horror section, and I found a copy of a um, Richard Lehman novel. I don't remember which book it was, but I was flipping through it, uh, and it seemed really interesting. 
And then I found out kind of towards the, I can't remember if it was towards the middle or the back of the book, a bunch of the pages, uh, I guess the glue had worn away and a bunch of the pages had actually fallen out and were missing. And that was um, really, really frustrating because I wanted to read the book and it sounded really interesting, but I did the right thing. I took it up to the counter and I said, hey, this book is missing pages. Just thought you should know. Um, but generally, yeah, that's the only thing I can think of that's ever happened to me that I was genuinely annoyed by. I mean, because the thing about little free libraries, book sales, used bookstores, I mean, the whole point of them is that it's luck of the draw. So I don't really see the point in being annoyed by what you find there because you can't really predict what's going to be there. That's kind of the whole point of it. Uh, the next question is, when it comes to short story collections, are you annoyed if there's a novella in the middle of the collection? No. <laughs> I'm going to expand on that a little bit more than Genre Books did in his video. But yeah, generally, no. The only reason I would be sort of not annoyed, but maybe kind of mildly irritated is that I have extreme ADHD. And so if I'm reading a bunch of like little stories, you know, 10, 15 pages, and, you know, I'm getting through them really quickly because, you know, they're short and I can get through them, you know, one after the other, um, then I get really kind of like uh, exasperated if there's like a really long story after that. Um, because I'm not the type of person, I cannot, I cannot just stop in the middle of a story or a chapter. Um, I know a lot of other people can do that. Like they can just be like, oh, I can just read a page and then come back to it later. I like, I physically cannot do that. So I, there has to be page breaks, you know, par paragraph breaks, you know, chapters. There has to be something. I cannot just read through one really, really, really long chapter unless I know I'm like sitting down. And I'm beginning it, you know, but if I'm like already in the middle of a book and I come across a chapter or a story that's really, really long and it doesn't have any like paragraph breaks or anything like that, then I'm just like, ugh, and I, just, I tend to just put the book down till next time. But generally, no, I don't really mind novellas. Uh, Deckled Edges, beautiful or annoying? Uh, again, I mean, I guess it depends on the book. Generally, it, I don't really care. Sometimes the thing about Deckled Edges is that it can be a little bit hard to turn the pages. You kind of have to grab by the top and slide down and, you know, um... But, I mean, books, each each book is an individual work of art, so if that's what the publisher decided the book needed, then that's what it is, you know? It doesn't really bother me. Um, I guess some people can find it a bit messy and grungy, but I've never been bothered by it. Question six is, other people's annotations in a used book or library book, annoying or are you okay with it? Generally, I'm okay with it. Um, I do agree with what Genre Book said, where if you're going to put it in a library book, if you have annotations in a library book, why would you do that? Because it's going to be given back to the library, that you're not going to be able to go over the annotations again, unless I suppose the, the book was donated to the library by somebody. Um, the only time annotations annoy me is if, uh, one, there's a ton of them, and uh, if there's, like, lots of highlights and underlines and stuff, because then it's, like, it's so much um, visual information that it's just kind of distracting, and it makes it difficult for me to focus on the book, but again, that's kind of an ADHD thing, so I can't really blame the uh, annotator for that. But yeah, that's the only time I would really get annoyed by that. Generally, I'm not bothered by it. In fact, uh, I think sometimes it can be interesting to see uh, what someone else thought about a book or just little thoughts that they had in the margins and things like that, you know, and especially, like, in, you know, 50, 100, 150, 120, or 100 and 200, 2000, whatever, you know, in the future, you know, you could argue that's a bit of, um, you know, arche a bit of uh, archaeology, you know, that people are going to discover years, years, years and years later. And uh, that'll kind of give people uh, an idea of uh, what people were thinking about in regards to this piece of literature at the time, you know. Um, so at what point does it become just an annoying annotation and, you know, history? I don't know. But yeah, generally, I'm not annoyed by that. If there's a series or a collection of certain kinds of books, like an imprint and changes are made, are you annoyed or are you okay with it? If yes, give an example. Um, I think this, I'm like most people in that the only time that something like that annoys me is if it's a series and they just completely change the look of the series midway through and it just completely throws it off and it doesn't match on a bookshelf. And it's really, really irritating. Um, one, one thing um, specifically that annoys me I can't think of a specific example at this point, at this time, but I see it all over the place, is when books don't tell you that they're part of a series or that it's like a sequel to something. I can't tell you how many times I've been in the used bookstore and I see something and I'm like, oh man, that sounds really good. And I read the, the blurb and it says, you know, oh, like, uh, you know, the part of a series or like, you know, um, or like uh, sometimes I'll read a blurb and it's not clear that it's part of a series, but it will say like, you know, so-and-so has just completed his adventure, you know. And I have to flip to the title page or wherever to see if there's like a list of, uh, of you know, of a series or whatever. Just put like a number on the spine or something, you know. Like, I don't know if people just find that like tacky or what. But man, like, 
you know, comic books do it, you know, tons of a uh, paperback uh, original series, you know, did that back in the day, you know, just put a number on it somewhere, like, let me know where I'm at, you know, so that I'm not picking up a book midway through a series and then being confused, you know. Next question is, uh, do the decisions of characters in a novel ever annoy you? Share the book and what decisions you found annoying. So I can't think of a lot of times that this has happened. I mean, I've had books where I'm annoyed with characters or like uh, characters are frustrating. But again, as genre book said in his video, I think that's just kind of the nature of storytelling and of characters. You know, if you're emotionally attached to the characters, if you're feeling something uh, toward them, whether, you know, even if it's annoyance or anger, that's part of the story. Right. Um I do think that there are times where I've read uh, characters in books that I just felt were um, their their decisions were annoying, and the and the way that those decisions played out were undeserved for the story, or you know didn't weren't uh, emotionally satisfying. But that's a different thing. But in that case, I mean the the most recent example I can think of is uh, this one book. What was it called? I can't remember. Let me look it up. Found it. Sorry, that took ages for me to find. So the book was Midnight at the Bright Ideas Bookstore by Matthew Sullivan. I read this back in uh, 2018, and um, it was a really interesting plot, you know, a murder mystery sort of thing at a bookstore. But uh, they built up this romance between um, the the female main character and, uh, and, and a male love interest uh, who worked at the bookstore who was, like, involved with the mystery. But she already had a boyfriend. They basically just have her uh, leave her boyfriend for the other guy, which, like, just really rang, didn't ring true to me, you know, because it just felt very, um... She just, she just up and leaves this guy with, like, without any warning, you know, just because, you know, oh, this other guy is, like, dark and mysterious and different, you know, and, like, it would be one thing if they established in the book that, you know... The, guy, the boyfriend was like an asshole or something like that, but he's not. He's like understanding and kind and supportive. And to have the, the author and the character just kind of dump them by the wayside, you know, and just be like, all right, he's gone now. And now we're with the cool artsy guy. I, that really annoyed me. That was one of the big reasons I hated that book. Um, but generally, no, um, that's the only one of the few specific examples I can think where I was annoyed with a character, but it's more of a sense of being annoyed with the way that the author handled the character rather than the character itself, if that makes sense. Question nine is, are you ever annoyed by how someone organizes their books? What do you find annoying? Uh, well, I mean, I'm not one to, to, ju to judge. I mean, look at look at my shelves, you know? I, I never heard the word organization, so I really can't throw stones at anybody for being disorganized. So generally, no, I'm not annoyed with anybody's organization. Again, as Genre Book said in his video, there's times where I'm confused by it, like people who... Um, order their books by the color of the the cover uh, or the or the size or things like that but generally i mean as long as they like how it's organized and they know where everything is who cares <laughs> uh share something bookish that you find annoying i mean i kind of already did that's what this whole um uh tag is about but uh something that i haven't already talked about oh i cannot i cannot stand it when a when you're looking at a book and you check the back to learn more about it, and it doesn't tell you anything about it. It's just, you know, accolades from other authors or reviewers, or it's just like, um, or, or it's just like a very vague general overview about the author and how, you know, like they've written a masterpiece, you know, a, a sweeping dramatic uh, romance for the ages or whatever. And it's like, okay, I, I don't care. I want to know what the book is about. I, I don't care about what the New York Times book review said about it or what some author said about it. Um, I just want to know the plot. I want to know what the book is about. Uh, this is especially egregious with sort of name authors like um, Daniel Steele. If you look at the back of a Daniel Steele paperback, you just get a picture of Daniel Steele. I can't stand that. I want to know what the book is about. I don't care who wrote it or anything like that. I just I picked it up because it looked interesting. <laughs> and I want to know what the plot is about so I can decide if I want to read it or not, you know? Um, so yeah, that's something that really, really irritates me. And then the last question or last uh, request or whatever is just tag other people. Um, well, I'm going to tag um, my usual suspects, um, Michael K. Vaughn, um, Roy Reads Anything. Um, you guys are tagged, and, uh, you know, whoever watches this video and wants to do the tag, go for it. You're welcome to. Uh, I'm always interested to hear what people have to say, you know, sort of. But, but yeah, generally, there aren't a lot of things about books that really annoy me. I mean, books are my happy place. I love books. Being around books makes me feel, you know, calm and centered and collected. So as long as I'm around books, as long as I have books and I'm reading books, 
I'm content, you know? So, yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't normally do tag videos, but um, Genre Books is kind of new on the scene, and, and I've really been enjoying his videos, and he was really kind enough to tag me, so, you know, I wanted to, to, to do this and, you know, have a little fun with it. So, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, but uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.